So my next project is to move my GPS data logger from its super cheap Tupperware case into an even cheaper, got for free at a uh, cruise seminar from Diamonds International case. And I like this case because it's smaller and it's also got a uh, seal. So I figure it's watertight and it floats which would make it a great uh, personal data logger, a black box. I currently have the data logger on a uh, parallax protoboard, propeller protoboard, which is a great board, but it's too big for the case. I had originally intended to use one of my homespun propeller boards for the case, which I'm still going to do. But I'm currently uh, playing musical chairs with all the uh, chips I have uh, until uh, Parallax's website gets updated to take PayPal. So uh, I realize that if I take everything off of here and put it on one of these, then I got a uh, proto board that's empty and not doing anything. So I'm thinking the proto board is now going to be the base for my uh, remote control system. Uh, which is going to mean so desoldering everything on here and putting it on here and moving the Nordic module to the uh, proto board. The GPS data logger takes the coordinates from the uh, GPS module and I can't remember what the model of this, this one is but it's uh, track 66 satellites. It takes the information from there and it writes a KML file which is a file that you can uh, open up in Google Earth and uh, it writes that file to a micro SD, SD card with the uh, parallax uh, writer here. So I wrote the propeller program so that it draws a model either a, a car, bike, or person for each of the data points. And each data point has a time span so that in Google Earth it looks like this model is just moving across the map. Moving to the smaller case, I'm going to change these big buttons out to uh, these little LED buttons I got off of a VHS camcorder. Getting the SD card reader off here is going to be fun because the proto, the proto board is uh, through hole plated which makes, it, makes the connections extremely strong and desoldering that thing is going to be hard. I'm, thinking about maybe just cutting the uh, leads off and putting some new ones on. I got a little bit smarter when I uh, added a accelerometer on here and uh, used uh, female headers so that I could uh, take it off easy. Uh, I had originally used it to show a graphic of what direction my bike was in, up, down, leaning left, leaning right. Um, but it wasn't really all that useful for that. Uh, I rarely lean the bike left or right because you lose traction and you end up in the dirt. And I stay on yellow trails so uh, this would truly be a black box if I ever spun the bike on the z-axis. And some investigators could get it and uh, say wow he did a 480 with a spin right before he hit that tree. So it was never really that useful for this application. I'm thinking about using it for something else. In the new case, the uh, propeller board will go in the bottom with the uh, LiPo battery. And the uh, GPS module will go in the top of the case. And I'll probably have a, uh, another board especially cut to fit inside of here that will have the uh, buttons to select uh, which model to use for the uh, track. And everything should fit in there pretty nicely. may have to add a little foam because it's kind of rattling around a little bit inside. Make it a little bit uh, more secure.